This video serves as a very brief introduction to one of the new features coming down the pike for Java 9 called JShell. JShell is a read eval print loop, otherwise known as a REPL. And the big benefit here is that now instead of having to complete, uh, create complete uh, programs, you can interactively enter in snippets of Java code and have this uh, JShell interpreter interpret that providing instantaneous feedback for you. Uh, as we speak, we are uh, creating this video in the late July timeframe. Uh, the build that we're using here is a version of 1.9 Early Access Build 73. This is the latest binary available from the OpenJDK site at this time. Uh, unfortunately, it does not have the JShell code integrated into it yet. It should be soon. Uh, so in order to demonstrate this, what we need to do is pull down um, code from a, an OpenJDK project called Kala. Uh, we've done that and then built it. And uh, what we'll do now is simply run that via a bash script uh, called run.sh. Uh, in the future, once this is integrated, it's likely to change. Uh, my guess is it'll be something like a jshell command or perhaps a jshell.jar file that you can reference from the command line. But, uh, you know, so, so we're in, and the first thing we want to do to uh, to run this is, before entering any code, we'll issue a help command, and uh, slash help. And you can see that there are quite a few options here. We will go over some, but certainly not all of these. Uh, but keep in mind, when in doubt, help is your friend. So the first thing you might want to do within this uh, interpreter is to write out the obligatory hello world statement. And the way you would do that in this uh, interpreter is by simply typing system.out.println hello world and uh, that's all that's required. Again, in the past, what you would need to do is wrap this in a class, instantiate a main method, and then put this print statement within there. Uh, now it's just a matter of typing out one statement. Uh, furthermore, one of the features is that we have the ability to bring up the previous command by hitting the up arrow. Uh, in this case, I can eliminate the um, semicolon and the statement still works. So uh, you would need semicolons between statements, but again, we're trying to make this as simple as possible to get some sort of feedback when you type in um, app, uh, statements. So uh, let's now take this and go back to the old school way of, of creating a uh, main Hello World program. So I'll copy and paste uh, some code over here. Uh, and what you see is we have a main class with a, uh, a main method and inside there is our hello world statement. And uh, one of the uh, command line options that's available is a command called methods, uh, excuse me, called classes. And now you'll see that we've registered this main class and we can call this application now by simply typing main.main .main with a null argument. And we get a hello world, world that way. Um, some other features uh, to aid in typing is that this has auto completion capability. So if I start to type in systems like SYS and hit tab, it will automatically uh, extend out the system, likewise for out. And uh, when I type PRIN, it'll give me the options and I go from there to, to finish this. Except that I missed a. Okay. Next up, let's uh, show how we can play around with variables, and in particular, uh, lambda expressions would work just fine within this uh, new J shell. So first, I'm just going to reset the environment, um, and now uh, what I will do is uh, first off import uh, the java.util dot classes so that we can take advantage of some of the collection clashes here. Uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, cut and paste in the definition of a list variable called list. Um, and now we have that added. Um, if we type the slash v or slash variable of ours, you'll get uh, a listing of the variables. So there's a thing called list and it contains a string with alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, foxtrot. Uh, with this defined, we can now uh, issue another um, Lambda expression, a thread in this case, which will uh, print out each um, entry on a line. So we do that and we get the following. Uh, we can also issue yet another uh, Lambda expression, 
which will convert all the entries into uppercase. We can confirm that in fact uh, this has changed the value of list by uh, looking at our history and typing that thread again and you can see that we're back uh, to uppercase. Um, another command that's available is list and um, what you see here is you get a number associated with each of the commands I executed so if I want to set list back I can do a slash 2 which will uh, convert the list back to its original form. Uh, we can confirm that in fact it's been changed by well, once again using our print thread and we are back uh, to where we started. Another feature uh, which should aid in, in convenience is the fact that at the highest level the interpreter will catch exceptions for you. So for example uh, one of the classic things that we do in Java a lot is uh, issue sleep commands. Typically um, if you want to sleep for three seconds you do something like this but you must wrap that sleep within uh, a try catch clause. In this case uh, it does not happen so we're sleeping one two three. Um, notice that we didn't need to catch the exception. However, if we were to put it within a, a wrap this within a uh, uh, method as follows, I'm going to copy and paste something here, you'll see that in fact we do get an error there because we're inside a method. So in this case we would simply um, edit this particular method and we'll add a throws clause here, interrupted exception, and uh, that should be just fine. Now there's another command called methods or my slash m and you can see that sleep has been registered um, if I issue a sleep 3 we'll sleep for 1, 2, 3 seconds again. One final thing we can open up uh, uh, previously created files especially if they're complex with the minus o option so slash o and again we can take advantage of um, completion here. We have a file called heart.repl. We open that up and in fact what this does is that it starts up a, um, uh, a graphic program that draws hearts. We can kill this um, program by simply typing slash x uh, and exit out of the program altogether too. So uh, there you have it. Here's hoping uh, that it was worthwhile for you.